Hello, welcome back to Danganronpa V3. I'm your host, the Prince of Play, Solon, and when we last left off, we were introduced to failure. We were introduced to the nihilistic abandon of despair. And we found a dumb platforming minigame that you're not supposed to be able to beat. So, we're here. We're going to kill each other now. That's really the only way out, or at least the only way forward from this point on, because the 16 uh, special excitable individuals probably won't be able to find much of another way out of this. So, um, short, we're, we're, we're doing our best to not try to metagame Danganronpa. Like, that's my goal for this episode. There's plenty of things that we could say, like, ah, we have seen the boiler room and the, they have forced us to go to those spaces, so a murder is probably going to happen in there, right? That's not what today's about, though. Today is about gathering information and trying to figure out what we can learn about everyone. Also, I just realized that this, uh, I thought that she was, like, shot in the chest, but it's like a spider web pattern on her, on her blouse, or on her apron? Apron. Uh, something the matter. Rest and regain strength. Let's not fret over things. Kurumi is a, a calming presence in, in our lives. I'm quite enjoying having her around. See? See? That's a new Solon! Do you hear that? I enjoyed a person! I didn't overthink it, I didn't say anything else. I enjoyed her. I did not say that I hated her. This is a new Solon. This is an updated Solon. This is a better, better than ever. Oh, hey, crew. What y'all up to? These two like each other a lot. I'm, I'm enjoying the relationship between Sumugi, the cosplayer, and the little mage girl, Hirumi? Himiko. With my magic. I hit you with that magic hammer and put you right to sleep. You'll be right to sleep forever. Rest in peace. <laughs> What's this little guy? What's on the... What's on the bench here? Oh! There's like, hidden Monokumas. This was a, a staple of the last game, but... <laughs> they should just be like, hidden around places. Oh, also there's like, a hella big door right here, guys. They all considered the giant door? There's 16 of us, could we- We could make like a fucking human pyramid! Get right over this- There's a puzzle on the front of the doors, guys! Nobody looked at the- Avaritia Luxulia! I like the little face, someone made a little- little cat face on it. Is there anyone else to hang out with or talk with? Some kind of puzzle there that we can solve to open that gate. I don't think there's anyone else out here. So, we've done everything that we can. Let's just go to bed, go to sleep, give it up for the day, and hope to God we still have 16 students when we wake up. So which one's going to be our door? Are we going to be on the second floor or the first floor? First floor, there we are! Solon, you're not very observant today, you passed that twice. It's fine! It's fine, I don't need to be observant for this game about solving mysteries. There's a room! Oh, hey, Monica, kid, what's up? We can lock up our room at night. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into their room and kill them easily. Yeah, fuck off, Kate, Monica. kid. <laughs> you were on the verge of an excellent adventure. There's like a phone in here? Like, it looks like a hotel room. It's probably a Bible in the fucking 
closet. I bet they've already blocked up the HDMI's on this TV so that you can't plug anything into it. Except for their own hotel cable service. Huh? Whole bunch of uniforms. So they prepared a bunch of the exact same uniforms for everyone. Okay. Is there anything else that we can look at? The big monitor and the bed. That's... That's it. There is... That phone doesn't even stay on the table. <laughs> that phone graphic down there is... Borked. Big TV to wake us up in the morning. Alright. Good night. I thought we'd achieve our goal if we didn't give up. Playing piano is easier than escaping. Maybe because I'm blessed with that talent. Maybe other people's talent will help them kill people. Chopin's prelude playing in my head. I fell into a deep sleep. Oh, it's a Monokuma theater time. Wonderful. What's in the theater today, Monokuma? New students of the Ultimate Academy, congratulations! The weeds here have grown thick with joy as if celebrating your entrance into the school. Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy! If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along! And do killing, too! I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that will do. I liked the Monaco in the background hanging by his guts on the hook. And so his guts were just a bunch of electrical wires. <laughs> it's like a little hammock made out of your own body. Good morning, Vietnam. Who's dead today? Three is all that remains. Well, that's probably great. Let's get to the dining hall ASAP. Assuming we all just, you know, woke up at 8 a.m. and it'll be fine. Everyone waking up at the same time, right? No? How come you never see everyone like getting up and getting out of the dorms at the exact same time? They're always already spread out by the time you wake up. So, there is someone at this corner. Oh, it's Sumugi, okay. Good morning, Katie! Good to see- good to see you, Sumugi! I realized this wasn't a dream every time I woke up. <sighs> Gotta face the reality. Alright, bye, Sumugi! There she goes. So there's the dining hall. Um, is there anywhere else that we can go? The kids are still working away, the mono cubs. Oh, we can go about the entire school right now, huh? Before we do dining hall stuff. Shouldn't you be at the dining hall? I'm looking for clues! I'm trying to be a detective, right, Shuichi? You had something to say, but you don't want to say it? Well, I guess we'll ask him later. <laughs> Good to see you, Shuichi. Uh, who else is around? feel like I probably can't go too far, right? Good, good, good. Just gonna do a little... <laughs> I probably shouldn't go to the boys' bathroom or the girls' bathroom, huh? So there's nobody else sneaking around, right? Oh, this is kind of cute. <gasps> Look at it! Moves. The hidden monokumas are all like 3D objects. They used to just be little pictures you'd find places. 
but now they're actually like a part of the world. Okay, there's the back side of the dining hall. There's a bunch of TVs. And I think, yeah, let's just go in. Unless there's anything else to distract me. Like the school store! That's probably somewhere we can turn in these Monokuma objects. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Including me! There were no victims! Am I okay? Yeah, I was really bummed out, but I'm feeling better. I was just hungry. She tried her best to encourage everyone. You sort losers got mad at her anyway. He's stirring that pot. This ultimate leader is stirring the pot. Kid. Ryum was not gonna have any of that attitude. I'm not bothered at all. I should have been more considerate of everyone's feelings. I was I got tunnel focus. I got tunnel vision. Do you get it? Get it, guys? We made a joke at 8 a.m. in the morning. Cool beans. Half my lies are good, told with good intentions. And the other half... Let's forget about this. Let's not listen to that guy at all. Hey Monokuma, what's up? So we can't attack Monokuma, but what if we like, you know, hug him? Give him a nice, give him a nice little squeeze. Just a nice tight little loving... Go to give him a hug. We won't damage him. We're not gonna- we're not gonna hurt him. Maybe he'll be nicer to us if we give him a little love. I don't- that, nobody's tried that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Alright, we- yes, Monokuma, ease us into the killing game. Give us a motivation to kill. Some motive! That ought to add to the- some mystery to the proceedings. Even if a killer is exposed, they could whip up a sob story to deceive everyone. Here's the first motive. Make sure to record this moment for posterity. Yeah. So you're saying if you kill someone... Doesn't that invalidate the whole system? I don't think that motivates anyone to murder. Ah. Okay, that would do it. That would do it, okay. For the first murder, I've decided not to hold a class trial. The first one's free. Which means whoever the second- wait, so... First kill. Does that mean the first person to do murder? Or the first murder to be found? Because those are different. If we all find one murder and someone else killed someone somewhere else, who's the first- You know what, maybe we should think about that. We should- We're, we're not here to metagame, are we? We're here to talk about- He's going to try to get someone to kill someone and just get them out of the game immediately. So two people are just going to be like, boop, bye bye Freebies. Do you think I would just kill someone to get out? Katie, dog, you should be taking this another direction. Uh, I don't think he thinks you're going to kill someone to get out. We're not going to lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape from this place. 
You just gotta kill someone, right? How are you gonna survive, K80? K80? So it's a prisoner's dilemma. Game design. No, what is it? Game. Uh. It's game logic. It's an incentive to betray the group to give yourself an advantage. We're less likely to cooperate with that in the back of our mind. To make a non-cooperative game that tanks Katie's plan to get us to cooperate. And once that first murder occurs, we'll be, we'll be more unlikely to cooperate. Alright, well, I guess uh, Karumi's like, you're serious about us killing each other. Why? Yeah, if the first if the first murder is free, can we murder you? No, that's against the rules. Don't you lay a hand on daddy. Don't wake daddy. Kaito, did you hit him? Oh! Well, there goes our little galaxy boy. Ah. Oh no! Monokuma's dead. The Exosols killed Monokuma. A lot of times, like, I'm right here, man. I didn't do this. I didn't do nothing. There's no spare. Don't trivialize life like that. She screams in the killing game. That's cute. That's I like it. We must cherish life because we're like snowflakes, unique in every way. Let's bury him with full honors. We'll cook him slow and slow to lock in the flavor. And some curry, ooh! Extra large side of rice! Gotta work it in with the curry. Now we're the headmasters. We've been played, we've been set up. Right at the end of this gigantic announcement, you're saying, also, Monokuma's gone. At least, for now. Oh, no. Monokuma's a robot, there's someone controlling him. The Mastermind's gone, continuing the game is impossible, which means we win! Hooray! Yeah, of course, this is no more, no more danger. So let's just wait for the shuttle bus to pick us up. <laughs> we'll just wait around back until mom and dad come by. Katie, God. Huh? We're all mad at you still. Skank. Yeah, you want to take out, take on the underground passage again? Sorry. Well, okay. I might, I might do it. I don't know. Whew. After Kokichi uh, finished talking, we all went our separate ways, and I have returned to my room. Well, someone's gonna kill someone. Once I went in my room, I just started crying. Why? Oh, ding dong. Someone's at the door. Hey, Shuichi. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about all this? Not sad, if that's what you're wondering. It's not your fault, Katie. Yep, the underground passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think we could work together, crush our hopes, and then double down on those crushed hopes. You know? It worked well. This, the plan worked great. Then they added a little bit of hope at the end with Monokuma dying. Huh? <laughs> Crush, squish, dying. Uh, let's go to the library. Let's go do something together. 
Why am I following Shuichi into the library after he's getting my hopes up? Um, that's... Why can't we talk here? Why do you want me to go to the library with you? Skeptical about this. There's a bunch of people. You can see on the mini-map all the yellow dots. There's a lot of folks out here. What's the matter? Bugs are. There's no bugs. Gonta. Oh, wait, there's no bugs! Right. Like, there's literally no bugs, which is... Uh, it's okay. Means there's no life in here. Allow Except there's plant life? But if there's no bugs, then who is cultivating all this plant life? Because plants need bugs to cultivate soil. Something's not right physiologically with this place. I want you to pick out some rubbers at the warehouse. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Being a real fucking skank to let dudes unload inside you. Tickling the ivories in the day. People are tickling you at night, huh? Oh, what kind of girl? What kind of girl we all are? Mew just wants to relate to someone. Uh, um... All right. That is more than enough Mew for literally one episode. <laughs> hey, bud. Surprised you're still here. You haven't like tunneled your way out or something crazy. Our foe is dead. In any event, that means the situation's over. I'll go home and spend time with sister. You have a sister, Keo? I bet she's worried. Sister. Who is sister? Who are you talking about, spooky Yu-Gi-Oh man? I need to get back to my parents and friends. These are your only friends now. Look at them go. Thub, thub, thud. This outside area is kind of nice. It's kind of a nice walk out here. Oh, this is the other side of the backyard area. Um, uh, let's actually do this. Oh, we gotta go to the library. I was hoping I could just walk through that, go the other way around. That log is like hollow back there. I would, I would hide something in there in an instant. Oh, the 3D Monokuma dolls. You know what that's like? You know what that's like? It is exactly like Pokemon Snap. That's what it's like. Hey, Kaido. Good to see you still alive and kicking it. Not doing anything dumb just yet. Gotta be reckless to make your dreams a reality. Yeah, which of the Exosols... Who piloted that Exosol to make it crush someone? Isn't that an important question here? The bear got cosmic justice. Wouldn't it have to be a Monokuma that was piloting it? If it wasn't any of the five Monocubs? I don't know. I don't know. You don't think this is over, your attitude gave it away. Because. You'd take on that passageway with her since you two seem so chummy! Sure, Y'all, if you want to survive, find a ride or die. Find someone who you can partner with, who can take a blow for you. That's how you survive this kind of crap. And I don't know who that is here, but I think, Su I think Shuichi's in a good spot for that. Is the shuttle bus coming or now? Come on! I see. Sumugi, I don't think that shuttle bus is gonna be here anytime soon. I always go to the cons by bus. I travel by bus even in summer and winter. The bus driver sings sea shanties for me. In the past I was saddled with debt, but now I'm the proud owner of my very own home. Wow, she's a homeowner. That's... congratulations. Anyway, since the wall's so big, I wonder how the bus would get in here. What was that aside, though? 
What was that? Why did you just slip something in there that seemed completely unimportant? Oh, hey, here's our uh, big list of presents. If we go back to our backlog... In the past, I was saddled with debt, and now I'm the proud owner of my very own home. It doesn't even sound like you. That sounds like you're speaking like another person just kind of like wrote a line of dialogue in here for no reason. No reasons, no reasons. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's, let's go do the job. Let's go go to the business, do the thing. Not gonna get distracted anymore. We're gonna get distracted. We're gonna get extremely- Oh, look at all the people that are in here! Hey, Tanko. Aw, Tanko and Him Himiko are, are getting together. I will massage you so you won't get tired. Y'all. Yeah, this is getting weird. Y'all getting too thirsty for me. Uh, is this the way to the library? No, this is the way to classroom A. Hey. hey, Rantaro! If there's someone behind all this, that Monokuma's just a puppet. How should I put this? And, alright, well there he goes. Cool. The library is this way, right? Like, we go downstairs to get to the library. Yeah, there's a game room and a library room. Remember. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to see if you'd let me go into any of them. We're in the library. Shuichi, what do you want? There better be something of importance in here. The empty library is filled with the scent of old, musty books. Keep this a secret. He began to explain in exacting detail like a detective? Shuichi's gonna do a detective thing? This library has books scattered everywhere. What? Our boy's actually gonna do detective work? Oh, finally, finally. All right, Shuichi, give us the beats. Next time, next episode, that's what we're gonna get right into. You hear, you hear that music of his playing? Yeah, there it is. Living in a lazy par parallel world. Shuichi, tell, tell me the details. I wanna know what's happening inside your brain because so far nothing has been happening. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tomorrow, tomorrow it'll be, it'll be a brand new day. And we'll have so much fun with more Danganronpa, more of the mystery as it unravels, and we're just going to ask a bazillion more questions. We're not going to overthink things, we're not going to try to metagame it. It's going to be just easy breezy, fun and happy, and then probably someone's going to die. And it's going to ruin my whole day, as I hope it will ruin yours. Okay.